The what? Uh, my drip out. Circle glasses, black hat, socks, definitely not matching. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to be going through the movie 1917. Uh, I think let's start with some production stuff first. Yeah, so as we know, it was all a big one-shot, or it was many one-shots strung together to make one big one-shot. Um, I think they did did it extremely well. Yeah, you... they, they accomplished it. The coverage was, I'd say, a lot better. I haven't seen Birdman all the way through, but through my film classes, we've digested all, we've gone through the movie and stuff and looked at scenes and everything, and Birdman was more of like, it was on steady cam still, but it was more of a sway steady cam, more, not jumpy, but a lot more movement of the camera for the coverage, you know, over the sh shoulder of one character and then switching over the 180 to a different over the shoulder this was just more more streamlined streamlined yeah, yeah. and just almost like gimbal ones oneers which they might have shot it on gimbal they did um, yeah yeah I, i'll put up some behind the scenes clips so we can yeah i yeah so yeah it looked like definitely looked like it was on on gimbal um but they definitely did a really good job with it yeah there's this one shot and i'll put it up now where he has to there's like a down bridge over water and he jumps from one side to the other you remember that you remember that scene i saw a behind the scenes clip where it's it's on a crane and it's like this close to the water and then it gets to the other side and dudes lift it off the crane and start running with him mm -hmm. And they really got those transitions down, where mm -hmm. onto a crane and off a crane. I think the one the I've I've heard of it being done. I haven't like seen them, but those motorcycles that they put the camera on mm -hmm. the back of, I think those look really cool. And, and obviously, yeah. with the terrain that that's filmed in, that makes a lot more sense than like a car. Yeah. So I think I think their use of tools was, util it, was utilized very very well. Very well. Yeah. Very well. Um, I also think they were filming all off Ari. I think they were using Ari okay. cameras. Yeah. Which makes sense. I mean, because obviously red is great, but I also feel like red's not really good in low light. And there's a lot of low light scenes. Well, even those low light scenes, they stage it to look like night. Right. So it's not actual low light. It's either way, if they use the red, it would have been lit enough so that yeah. you have enough so a lot of film a lot of cameras can't go they can go two stops down and two stops above right where it's not too overexposed and it's not too underexposed anything usually between two stops down it's going to be a uh, noise in the darks right um from what the camera can handle within that iso and two stops above uh you completely lose all detail yeah um but the, the, the another cool thing i saw them do was the one scene when you're in that like broken down town kind of thing and mm -hmm. he's looking around and there's a building on fire yeah when they actually film out it was just a tower of lights and then he's obviously superimposed the building on fire and stuff which I thought was a really cool way to, to light that scene because it was all mm -hmm. that that was the only lighting in the whole scene was that tower of lights. Okay. Um, have you seen that behind the scene shot? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll show it to you after this, but we'll put it up now. Um, but it was a really cool way to light the scene. I, I think they really used natural light and yeah. lighting to tell the story as well as just camera work. Yeah. The lighting was definitely they did a really good job. Cause um, they used natural light a lot. Yeah, they did a really good job being able to betray war within the lighting. Yeah. Um, which Give, is awesome. Give you the feeling of war. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, Okay, so let's move on to like story. What do you think of, obviously it's not, it's not based on a true story, but those events did happen. Mm -hmm. Like there were messengers that did that, is what I've, what I've read and what I've looked into. But what did you think of like the story and the arc of the story and the characters? story was good um i definitely thought the main character was a different main character yeah um in the beginning and that was a good little twist um where i'm not gonna 
expose yeah. too much about it, but they get a, did a good job, and with the character building of the protagonist, um, I think I think overall storyline was solid. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I also think um, it felt uh, obviously none of us were alive then, but it definitely felt very authentic. Like, yeah. It felt like they just happened to find this trench and film in it, which obviously isn't the case. He built that, but it, fi it felt very authentic. And I think the the set design guys really did a great job yeah. with the mud to the dry land to the explosions of special effects the no but man's land the no man like all that just looked authentic really i yeah. mean really i mean honestly i felt like they took photos and just put the photos in the life and that's what they filmed in so to to put the story like into context and for you to feel it as you're watching it really i don't know i think they did a great job with the whole movie yeah. Um, again, obviously the reason we're reviewing this is it's an Oscar, Best Picture Oscar, Oscar nomination. Do you think it deserves that title? No. No? No. Why? Honestly, I think overall it did a great job, but I personally don't think, I'm not the biggest fan of like Warners. Um, and for me, I was focused on that a lot more, which me personally, I, I saw the potential for six cuts, but three for sure. You saw three potential. Yeah, I saw three for sure. I know. I know two of them. Yeah, there was the moment he blacked out. Yeah. There was the when he went from when they went from the German trenches to oh, another wow. part. Yeah, you're thinking of something completely. I was thinking mm -hmm. of the one. Right as he's getting the orders, they go from outside to inside to get the orders from the general. I don't think so. You don't think that was a cut? No. I do know the cut. Is, I do know one of the cuts is right when he jumps off the bridge into the water. Yes, because that was CGI. Yeah. So yeah, that that's the third oh, for okay. sure cut. Okay. Was right there. Um, and then there was another part where they were going above the hill, uh, where it kind of went foreground. Right. Um like out out of the gun right which with the one you kind of have to put those in there so in case you want to cut to something else right is it explosions behind them that no scene? no 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 which one with the trench guns with the artillery guns yeah oh i do remember that yeah that area, yeah yeah there was a big thing big chunk in the foreground going right. out of that Okay, so you gotta put right. those in just in case you do want to, to cut, cut in yeah. between however many takes it took, which I assume was, if anything, two or three. Because um, I also, I also to, to go along with the takes, I do know they rehearsed the scene so the scene would take as long as the set was. Mm -hmm. So if he was walking from one side of the trench to another and it took ten minutes, they, they would film for ten minutes. They yep. wouldn't cut. So I guess they, what you're saying is they might put stuff in the way, so if they have to cut, yeah. they have the option to, but they don't yeah. have to. And also one was in when he got to the tree line. Yeah. Uh, there yeah. was the big tree they went and brought it into the foreground. Yeah. Um, yeah. But those are kind of just like, if they did cut, it was clean enough where you definitely could tell. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, but... But I think the editing was very well done, too. Yeah. Like... Even with the foley the, work, the sound design was solid. Yeah, definitely solid. And they had the uh, within sound design there. So behind the speakers, there's a big sub. Yeah. That for anxiety, there it's. Uh, I can't think of the what they call the frequency, like not thermal frequency, but it's it's a certain tone where you can't hear it. You can kind of hear the shake, but right. it puts anxiety. Yeah. It just like makes your body feel anxious, uh, anxious yeah. and uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I think it at least deserves a nomination. I think it deserves the nomination. I don't. Do think I think it, it deserves, deserves the Oscar? Oscar. Yeah. I don't. What's know. it nominated for? Best, Best picture. picture. All, all, all these. Vlogs are best picture nominations. Okay. Yeah. I I don't think best best picture. I think if sound design. 
maybe sound design. If it, I think it's not. If it's not, I don't think it's nominated. M maybe. <laughs> but like best picture, honestly, I think like Quentin Tarantino is gonna take it just because what, what it's him. Uh, Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Uh, Once upon a time. Yeah. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Um, just because it's Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. Um. Well, that's our review of 1917. The behind the scenes. The on screen and a little background of it. I'll also put up shots like as you saw throughout the so anyways you have to go. Mm -hmm. I have to get back to work and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another review. I don't know what the movie is but we'll okay I'll see you tomorrow.